video from the uh, crazy angry photographer here. Um, I was going to do, I uh, already did one of these videos, just going to make it short and simple. It's something I thought up uh, when I was uh, bored out of my fucking skull about 20 years ago in the camera shop. So far as grading lenses, a lot of people are ordering stuff, or if you're in uh, grandma's uh, garage sale, so far as uh, what to check for, people always forget, and there's a lot to check for, but there's a way to make it really short and simple. Yeah, it's kind of crude, but it's easy to remember. The really weird stuff's easy to remember, and I call it Fuck Abe. F-U-C-K-A-B-E. Okay, what the hell does that mean, and what the hell are you talking about, you crazy bastard? Okay, obviously you need a flashlight. Right now I've got a headlamp on, but you need to pack around your little flashlight. And typically when you see it, remember fungus are white spots. Usually they have radial patterns. If you uh, take your light, shine in. This is a 4 element, 135mm, uh, 3.5, uh, very few elements. Right now you'll actually see some marks on the front of the element. That's actually just a smear, a smudge in the air coating on a new lens I just got in. I bought this as a gift since I've already got seven of these lenses. I don't need an eighth one, so... We got no fungus spots in there. I've already rated this one at a 98%, considering the fact that it is almost as old as I am. That's absolutely miraculous. Um, the other thing to look for is... Talk about the F. Now the U. That's for unknown crud and dust. And uh, for that, you need to open your aperture all the way up and remove your rear lens cap. And obviously, remember not to use your flashlight to accidentally scratch the rear element of your glass. And shine it in there. I can't get it direct because of how I've got this lens positioned in the camera. But um, you, uh, a lot of people are actually frightened by this. You shouldn't be because any lens that's this old... 15, 20, 30 plus years, you are going to find, at the very least, minimal dust. So, um, this is absolutely nothing. This is near 100% for lenses old, even though there are a few minor specks in there. Um, unless there is an enormous amount, and I've seen some that are just enormous, where it literally is like a, a carpet inside the lens, this is 98, 99%. Okay. Even new lenses, uh, often, typically, new out of the box, new current production, have as much or more dust than this has. So this is absolutely pristine. Okay, now we're going to go on to the C, which is clarity and haze. Um, this is also why you should store your lenses in a cool, preferably a cold, not the basement, a cold, dry place. Haze. Most haze comes uh, from internal uh, lens lubrication, which happens to uh, fog and clear coat the inside of your lens. And uh, it's basically no different than the old-fashioned methodology they use of smearing Vaseline on a uh, front filter element to get a certain uh, photographic effect. This isn't haze you're seeing here. This is actually uh, a little bit of smudge on the uh, the purplish uh, AR coating. It's a crystalline coating on the front element. So that is not haze. You'll notice haze is like a white milky fog and it won't be on the front element. It's always on the internal. So what you're seeing here is just a little bit of a smudge on the front, the outside front of the front element. So haze is uh, always going to be on your internal. That's where, uh, especially if you're in a hot climate and uh, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get that uh, haze development if you keep your lens stored in a hot place. What happens is that uh, the uh, the oil or grease particulates that lubricate the barrel of the lens will migrate and particularize themselves to the fr the interior elements, and then you've got an issue. And once you've got that, you uh, Taking a lens apart and getting it back together again is near impossible. Getting haze off, just forget about it. Don't even think about buying it. Okay, now we're going to go on to K for knives. Meaning blades, obviously. Stick your rear cap, front cap on. Flip her over. Very important. Close down your aperture. Right over here you'll see a little lever. You flip it over here so you can see it easier. Take it and flick it a few times. If it stutters, you got a problem. And you let go. If it doesn't snap back automatically like a rubber band, you got an issue. Do not think about buying it. Now, typically what will happen is if it's defective, you've got oil or grease buildup, 
or a bind in the barrel due to it being dropped or badly bumped and what will happen is when you let go of it it'll stutter like the, it'll it'll be faster but it'll stutter when you let go so unless it snaps back like that don't buy it so we got fuck right now f-u-c-k fungus unknown crud and dust clarity and haze and k for knives i.e. your aperture blades okay now we're going to go on to abe a-b-e a is for your AR coating, your anti-reflective coating on your front and rear elements. Uh, typically, there will be some spots due to acid or somebody spitting on the lens because they like to blow on it, which you should never do because there's acid in your breath. And when you go to blow on your lens, even though you don't, you think it's a dry blow, what happens is it deposits acid and that eats off the anti-reflective coating on your front element, and that is an issue. Um, it's not an issue. Uh, all it does is we'll drop the the grade of the lens. Typically, this is the best way to get a great cheap lens. What you do is you'll spot out some missing AR coating spots. They'll just look like you can see the greenish purplish coating on the front element here. Same as on the rear. What you'll do is you'll see that it's missing. It has nothing to do with uh, how your shots will turn out. What typically you can do is you can get money knocked off of your lens. Um, from the, the person you're buying it from, like you bought it off of eBay and you send them a picture and say, Hey, asshole, you sold me a lens that's got missing air coating spots. And, and uh, you know, and try to talk them down in price. Or if you're buying it from a garage, say, Look, the coating on the front element is missing. You're in spots. Sometimes they're typically little pinhead spots. Sometimes they're a little bit bigger. Isn't going to affect your image one damn bit. The anti-reflective coating is a crystalline coating deposited and sputtered on uh, the elements of uh, the front and rear elements. Sometimes more depending on the manufacturer of the lens. It isn't going to affect anything. It is on there for maximum light transmission. Um... So now we're going to move on to B of A. We went over A, which is uh, AR coating, and B is barrel. Two things you need to check on your barrel. Okay. Check for any binding in your focus. Any binding. If you got binding, don't buy it. Check for binding on your aperture ring. Um, yeah, I find this often. And what happens is it's a hard bang, or somebody dropped it. You can't really tell. There's not a dent anywhere visible. But if there's binding on your focus or on your aperture ring at all, don't buy it. So that's B for bear. And we're going to move on to E, your elements. As I showed you in a prior video, um, check, shake your lens, tap it like this. Put your ear up next to it. Listen for loose elements. Okay. Um, look for... Uh, you know, scratches, obviously now fine hairline scratches on your front elements, not going to affect anything. If they're gouges, if you could tell that there's any divot in there, even if it's really tiny, don't buy it. Little hairline scratches, typically any lens this old, you're always going to find little hairline scratches on the front or rear element. This one uh, happens to not have any. It's an excellent, excellent condition. Um... Little patches of hairline scratches, you only see them if you shine them at a certain angle. If you just look at the lens straight on, um, you won't find them. If you could only see them at a certain angle, this one doesn't have any. Ignore it. Isn't going to affect your picture at all. If they're gouges at all, someone's taking a scuff, like it's you know knocked up a piece against a piece of concrete or something, uh, then you got an issue. Okay, don't buy it. Any gouges at all, and I don't mean like deep gouges, I mean any type of gouges. What that's going to do is it's going to, it's going to, especially on the rear element. Now you got scratches, yeah, I won't even buy a lens if it's got a bunch of hairline scratches on the rear element. The front element, no big deal. Some fine, super wispy, uh, spider-like hairline uh, scratches in the front element, no big deal. A few of those in the rear element, also no big, big deal. If you got more than a few on the rear element, screw it, don't buy the lens. Uh, I'm talking about loose elements, uh, scratches, no big deal. Haze is a big deal. That is oil deposition. It's particularization of oil from being stored in a hot and humid spot. Uh, also the case with fungus. If you got a couple fungus spots or just tiny little pinpricks and you can get the lens cheap, buy it. It isn't going to affect the damn thing. And the way to kill that is if you got a UV light, shine a UV light, uh, leave the rear cap on, take the front cap off, 
and way to kill the fungus so it doesn't spread because fungus is a living critter is shine a UV light down through the lens. Doesn't have to be that close. You're not trying to bake the lens like give it a suntan. Shine UV light down through the front element of the lens for a couple of hours. It'll kill the fungus off. If you get a lens with a couple of fungus spots, you see one. It isn't going to affect your picture. They're just little tiny fungus spots. They start out as little white white wispy pinpricks, little spidery pinpricks, but they will grow. If you want to kill them off, okay, you can't get to them on the re on the uh, inner elements. Anyway, you can if you know how to take a le lenses apart, which very, very few people know how to do that. And it's a real pain in the damn ass. you got a bunch of, t bunch of tools. I haven't done that for years. Uh, the easy way around is you just don't buy shit lenses. Um, UV light to kill out the fungus. Okay, don't blow on your lenses, all right? Buy a $5 blower if you got to clear the dust off your lenses. Every time you blow on a lens, even if it's a dry blow, you're depositing acid on your front element, and that will strip the air coating. And while, as I've told you, that doesn't really affect your image, it does degrade the quality of your lens. The air coating is on there for a reason! So, um, so that's the uh, little uh, anachronism there to... Uh, know how to grade your lenses. So let's go over it again really quick. It's fuck Abe. F-U-C-K-A-B-E like Abe Lincoln. Fungus. F. Check for fungus. U. Unknown crud and dust. Verify how much dust is in there. In an old lens like this, there's going to be dust. Um, how much? Unless it's a carpet like grass in there, or if it's even close to that, I'm not going to buy it. But if it's light dust like this, or just even uh, a very slight moderate dust, go ahead and buy it, especially if you can get it cheap enough. Okay, clarity and haze. Haze is a huge issue, okay? You got haze in there, don't even buy it. You'll see a milky coating. It's, uh, it's oil deposition on the interior elements due to the uh, barrel lubrication. Also, if you see it on your aperture blades. K, knives. Knives. K for knives, i.e. your aperture blades. already told you about that. Check for snappiness of your shutter blades. Make sure they spring back. Look very closely. It's typical to see a wrinkle or a crease in your aperture blades. Also check if uh, typically one will also be broken. If they all don't move in sync uh, in perfect sync, you you might have a broken one. That's actually quite common, believe it or not. Uh, your your uh, camera will still function that way, but you don't even dare buy one with a broken aperture blades. If you see a wrinkle in one of the aperture blades. Like, oh, well, it still works. I don't buy it with the wrinkle. It will always migrate and get a lot worse very quick. A for AR coating. I already told you about that. B for barrel focus. Check your barrel. Check your aperture rings on your barrel. Normally, I need to check for cosmetics. Typically, a lot of these lenses, you know, they got uh, scratches on the barrel. No big deal. Everything else is important. Minor cosmetics uh, are part of grading the lens and what the value is, but you know, who gives a shit if there's some minor ring scratches or whatever on the lens? It doesn't make any difference, right? Right. Okay, E for elements. Check for scratches, whether they're fine wispy scratches or gouges. Check for loose elements, as I showed you in a prior video. So that's it. That's a quick way to remember how to check a used lens if you're at Grandma's Garage Sale or if you just get one off of eBay. Check Fuck Abe. F-U-C-K-A-B-E. So that's fungus, unknown crud, clarity, haze... K for knives, i.e. your aperture blades. A for AR coating. B for barrel. Focus. Check your barrel. Check your aperture ring. Check your barrels. Check your barrel movement. Be sure it's nice and smooth. Check the same for your aperture ring. Nice and smooth. No binding on either one. If there's any binding, fuck it. Don't buy it. And E for elements and scratches. Grade yourself on what I've told you. If they're fine little wispy scratches, no big deal. If they're any sort of gouges at all, or if they're a large cluster of an enormous amount of fine wispy scratches, also don't buy it. Okay, so that's it. That's the easy, quick, simple, and yet uh, slightly profane way to remember how to grade your lenses. If you like this uh, video review, you can always drop me a buck or two, or you can tell me to go fuck myself, or uh, whatever you want. It's all good. I'm trying to save you a buck. And, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. Send me any recommendations on anything you want me to do a video on. Okay? Okay. Bye.